Let's closer look on a left bar toolbar. And you'll notice many of them have this triangle. So it's mean if we click, this will expand and we have additional options to select. Like first, for example, we can create a water plane, ground plane. We also can create rain or snow type effect on our scenery. So the next we have it primitives. So let's select water. Okay, let me delete this one. And you can see we selected, we created plane of the um, water or ocean. Again, one thing to note about this is infinity plane. So it is as we'll move camera, this plane will always create it new and new as a procedure, so we'll never can come to the end, except if we're going and create spherical view or planetary view. On this case, we'll have the round circle. We'll look on those ones how we create in the future. So the next we have an object and this is primitives. We'll look on some of them. It is a sphere, cylinder, cube, pyramid, cone. We also have a torus, we have a plane and alpha plane. Um, sometimes we'll use it, those primitives to create it with a displacement, some very interesting shapes of the terrains. As well, we can use it plane to put it some ecosystem on this and alpha plane we use it quite a bit often, maybe in creating some additional effect, even distance trees. So next we have a text option. We can create a new title and text and positioning. Um, we also have a type of the terrain. We have a standard terrain and we have a, the procedure terrain and loaded procedure terrain. So the standard or high field terrain, we can also modify all presets. The dot is meaning again we have a load plant or we can load it whatever selected so it's meaning we right click it will open for us um, the plant browser also notice in this assets or plant browser some of this have an icon which is meaning those is from kernel copy and you kind of need purchase them so they're available for you um, we'll look a little bit closer again on some of these plants later when we start working on our terrain and creating. So let me go ahead, make it smaller right now. And person I like to readjust so we have it kind of small preview all of the plants that are available. We can also customize those plants and sort them so we can see only um, which one we want to preview. If you want to remove some of the plants that you don't own, you always can go into properties and enable display only the plants that you currently have. They are favorite plants used before and all of them. So in many cases, when you browse and you don't know which one you wanted, you look for the best, you want preview maybe every one that's available. But when you work and you want to be sure that it display only assets that you currently have, you can enable and just go from this point and use it. Okay, we also have a different type of the plants available. Okay, as soon when you go ahead and if, for example, select one of the plants. Okay, so now when we already select plant and if we left click, it will add same type of the species or plant that we um, currently selected. So let's go come closer. So right here you can have it to plant. Also notice when it's add one, it's put one on top of another one. So we can have options when we put a new object to offset them. But currently it's right here. So when we go again, it will create a new plant, same species but only from what we selected. Same things apply to the next object, it's our rock. So we can click and go browse, for example, collection of the rocks. And as soon when you're selecting one of the rock, next time if you left click with mouse, you can notice it select same species on a different variation of this rock. Next, we have our meta cloud or add layer of the cloud. So you can see when we're going inside, we have an add layer at meta cloud, primitive meta cloud, and from presets. That is a big difference between cloud layer 
and meta cloud for example if we create layer cloud it's a similar to the water it created this um, extensive layer okay let's go see if we can zoom out and look right here you can see this is a layer of the cloud same like water it will procedurals and will generate it to infinity so as we're going we can take our camera actually and apply it through the clouds and we can fly until um, you tired from rendering because it will create it over and over again however if we're creating the meta cloud it's more look as the object so for example right here you can see and many times this is an object it's well created from primitives like a spheres kind of squishing spheres spheres and applied volumetric material to them so in some cases meta clouds have it more control over uh, shapes or size then again the cloud layer allowed you to create infinity clouds you do have also some control to them you can also limit it and make them smaller but we'll look on this in our future tutorials but overall now right here we have our clouds and our layers in previous versions of the view they was kind of separated so right now they make more sense to put them together okay so let me go ahead and remove some items and removing it's easy just select and click delete button you can see we can remove all of this next we have our planets and for example when we select we can select different type planets in some versions of the view you won't have it custom you will just have it pre-selected the custom you can load it any other planet and I covered several very interesting tutorials that I recommend you to watch it's uh, creating star field so you can use this uh, planets as a backdrop for different type of scenarios so just overall don't be limited to specifically how it says it's what you see it's what merits your vision as an artist but overall right here we can create a planet with different shapes next we have it as splines um, splines allowed us to create a path inside the terrains or a path of distribution ecosystems and plants and um, again we can go select one plan we can you can see we can draw the path okay and with manipulating we can add a type terrain effect if we need it raise or give a drop we can create also the geometry as a pipe or road or we can have a distribution of the plants and we'll look a little bit more on this in other tutorials specifically um designed for the splines editor Okay. also you'll notice as a spline how it says a path so we have our normal our point start we can modify them after okay and next we have it our save or load objects and many times we will come with already extensive library all what if you needed more you always can go to visit on Carnacopia, and you can also visit like geek at play at Carnacopia, see our collections there overall you can preview some of the items or preload it your own we support the multiple formats of the objects this is a vob the native vu objects uh, however you can also import objects from the poser or any other format and we're looking on those in the import export tutorial how to do this um, next we have our particle system preset or preloaded already created particles so and right here you can see we have a particle library okay and some of that um, from my previous it's a fountain we can have it butterflies we also have it of leaf or other things and we'll look on those ones particles how to use and how to apply them in a particle tutorials as well as effectors that can be work on particles or some effectors can be work also if um, work with the ecosystem so it's multiple effect and uh, it can be effector as um, moving gravity or directional ventilators as part of the effectors as well and uh, this is kind of calling up to your creativity how you want to use this again all these options are accessible from up 
top navigation menu right here, drop down. This is just a faster way to access most common and used objects. Okay, next we have a different type of lighting and you can notice right here we have it from the point light, quadric, spotlight and all realistic and at 2014 there was added quite a bit, included daylight portal, all this additional different type of the lighting and if you're first time user of Vue don't get scared, they're very easy to understand and when we're going to the lighting tutorials you can see how we can use them. The sum options is gray out and they require be object selected or a group of objects. For example right here we have a two of um, sphere and you can notice we now have it meta blob enable. We also have it now enable drop the object so for example I will come back to this group once but object so we can drop object to the ground okay, with our right and with the left we can drop object to the other object so for example if I click left you can see how it's a drop straight as detect collision and if I right click mouse it's a drop with the positioning so it's try kind of go with the surface like right here you can see so it's left and right click this is what that been the blob again it's created hopper blob or meta blob meta blob will combine them to get it and a hyper blob will apply also um, displacement so the other options we have it intersect it's more boolean operations and those will be enabled when we select one or, or two or more objects and you can notice right here we have it grouped objects and we have a different boolean operation so again if we hold it and extend you will have a difference union or intersect so you can have a different type of boolean operations to create um, some different figures and we have it several um, like Walter or other ones the artists who create very impressive type of the object or modeling just using boolean operations inside the view so right here kind of very fast overview so here's an overview and uh, we'll go more in details for each specific of the properties and components later in our